Hello, welcome to NAMM 2014. My name is Mike Scheibinger. I'm the audio software product manager for SoundForge and Spectra Layers. And uh, this NAMM has gotten off to a really great start, given a lot of great demos. This year, uh, we're showing SoundForge Pro Mac 2 and the Spectra Layers Pro 2.1 update. Now, these two programs finally have been wired together with uh, seamless interoperability between the two. SoundForge Pro Mac 2 and Spectra Layers Pro 2.1 now are a seamless sort of nexus and interface between traditional waveform editing and uh, the more um, esoteric, the more futuristic uh, spectral editing. And so, uh, got a lot of features to show, and in a couple of minutes I can show you just a few things, but you'll definitely want to go to www.sonycreativesoftware.com to get the full story. But let's start with the uh, interoperability feature, which is a really big story for uh, these two applications. Here we have a sound file on deck here. It's like an hour long. It's got a bunch of notes in it, a lot of piano notes. And say, for example, I have a piano note that I want to just actually delete from the program without affecting anything else around it. Let's see how to do that in SoundForge Pro Max, Spectra Layers Pro 2. It's really simple. This is an hour long file, and all I really have to do is find a note that I don't like, an undesirable sound, and uh, all I, I can place a marker right there. Marker comes up. I can uh, zero in on that sound, and now I can select that sound just like this, and I hit a button up here. This button is labeled Edit in Spectra Layers Pro. So when I hit this button, what happens is this. SoundForge Pro Mag 2 goes into standby mode. Uh, Spectra Layers Pro 2.1 launches, and we can see we have the uh, program material here in, in uh, Spectra Layers Pro 2.1. Taking a closer look at this material, I can see individual Individual piano notes are now represented clearly in the spectral domain. What I want to do is pull these out. It's as simple as making a new layer, uh, grabbing the shape tool, which is new in Spectral Layers Pro 2, and I can just get in there, and I can see these notes. I can get right on top of them, dial them out just like this. And now, as you can see, these notes exist on their own independent layer. All I have to do next is throw that 180 degrees out of phase just like this. Boom, they're gone, see? Now you see it, now you don't. Now when I'm finished and I'm satisfied that I've achieved uh, my objective in spectral layers, why then all I have to do is close spectral layers like this, quit out, export back. And now I'm back in SoundForge Pro Mac 2 with my edit in place. Remember, this is an hour long sound file. So this is just a few seconds out of it. Here's my marker, my region is still there, my edit's in place, it's all intact. This is the interoperability feature between SoundForge Pro Mag 2 and Spectra Layers Pro 2.1. Now available in one package, Audio Master Suite Mac. Now, next up, we have a sound of a guy giving a lecture. And this sound has a lot of uh, reverb on it. And our objective here, what we would like to do is, we want to get rid of that reverb. It's simple. We'll just take the entire sound file, edit in Spectra Layers Pro, make the lecture file the active file, go to process, remove reverb, apply the process. Now the reverb is gone, just like that. When I'm satisfied with the result, I quit Spectra Layers Pro, export back to SoundForge Pro Mag 2. And here's my original lecture file. All the reverb is removed. Now, the question arises, why do I want to get rid of all that reverb? Well, here's why. Because I want to replace that reverb with a new ambience that was not present on the original file. And to do that, I'm going to use Isotope Nectar Elements. This is a great plugin, a $129 value, included with SoundForge Pro Mag 2. So now that I've removed the reverb from this lecture file in Spectra Layers Pro, I can open Nectar Elements and apply a new, brand new ambience to it, and I have so much to choose from. There are presets for voiceover and dialogue. Here I can have 
a bad radio sound, we all know what that sounds like, I can have a, a bleachers, callback, commercial, crowd, uh, dark lord, which is if you want to sound evil, uh, you know, a documentary, meditation, podcast. For special effects, I have Alone in Space, uh, Chipmunk, Doom, all kinds of crazy things. So I can take the reverb or the ambience out of a sound file, go into Nectar Elements included with SoundForge Pro Mac 2, and apply a new ambience to that sound. Uh, a great feature, only possible with the relationship between these two programs. And like I said, they're both available in a product called Audio Master Suite Mac, which includes both editors in one box at a special price. And uh, it's just a really great thing. There are a lot of other features available in SoundForge Pro Mac 2, one of which includes these loudness meters. This is a the new metering paradigm that all the broadcasters are using because they want to stay in compliance with the, uh, the Calm Act, which uh, means that you, know, you can't get too crazy with the volume. So with these meters, you can make sure that you're staying within the legal limit while still achieving the kinds of short-term peaks and the kind of transient response that you want in that file. So in other words, what I'm saying here is that you can make this thing sound loud, yet still remain within the limits of uh, the federal government, which is uh, really concerned about uh, keeping your volume like at, at a sane level. Now, not only is this cool for broadcasters, but it's really great for audio engineers too, who want to create mixes that are uh, not too crazy, not too hot, but you want to make sure that all the good bits come out nice and strong, and uh, the loudness meters, of course, are perfect for that. Okay, so glad to be here at the 2014 NAMM show, showcasing SoundForge Pro Mac 2, the Spectral Layers Pro 2.1 update, both available together as Audio Master Suite Mac at a reduced price. There are so many new features here, too many to tell in the short amount of time that I have uh, available. But you know, the highlights are the interoperability between the two programs, which really, you know, it's amazing. It brings spectral and waveform editing together in a whole new and convenient way. We have the loudness meters, we have the, the uh, Nectar Elements plugin from Isotope, yours included with SoundForge Pro Mac 2. We have event editing improvements, new plugins, new processes, reverb removal and spectral layers, and uh, just a lot of really great things. So thanks for taking the time to watch this and visit us at www.sonycreativesoftware.com. Check out the new releases available toward the end of the month and uh, we're excited to roll these out and we're hoping that you uh, take a closer look at them and discover the magic. Thanks a lot.